Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you enjoyed last week's episode. Uh, this week we're working our way down the coast. We're heading to San Francisco, attempting to get to Big Sur, and then slowly are working our way over to Yosemite National Park. Uh, as you can see, I'm still currently in Hawaii, uh, but I will be heading back to the van in the next couple days. So yeah, uh, enjoy this episode. I can't wait to share it with you and yeah, get ready. Up to this point, I've traveled the world and seen 33 amazing countries. I've been to places I thought I'd only dream about. Van life will take up a big part of my time, but this doesn't mean that these international trips will be put to a halt. This YouTube channel is about my life from now on, including all of the van life adventures, as well as my international endeavors. Buckle in as we head farther south, heading towards San Francisco. After getting out of the redwoods, you could really see the effects of all the rain we've been getting and it slowly started to fill up the floodplains. Got uh, towards San Francisco, uh, just north of it, just headed out from um, small town south of Santa Rosa and now we're heading towards the coast. Uh, I'm gonna go to Point Reyes and work my way down to Mount Tam. Uh, but yeah, now we got some sun right now which is shocking. Uh, it doesn't sound like we were gonna have sun for the entire week so I'm gonna go try to catch a sunset. So hopefully uh, it sticks around a bit. Yeah. <sighs> Part of driving on windy roads stuff comes flying out um, oh boy yeah we're gonna have to clean this up i gotta find a you can see things are coming out i gotta find a better way of holding this together at least this one specifically with all the canned goods and everything is it even with this it's still yeah it still comes out quite a bit <sighs> this out but I'm gonna clean up this mess real quick and then continue driving yeah all right so we got to the tree tunnel um, conditions are actually perfect right now uh, I wasn't really expecting getting sunlight but yeah it's uh we're super lucky so getting golden hour here uh, at Cypress tree tunnel uh, I can turn it around show you what the view is Bad. I think uh, right about here at the beginning of these two trees is where I'll set up. Right there. I'm trying to decide if it would be a good idea to drone here. Like FPV drone. We'll see. I'm gonna get the photos first. Maybe I can. Uh, weave through some trees and up and down the road a little bit. There's nobody here. I've got the whole place to myself, so I'm gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna give it a shot because it feels pretty safe here and there's nobody here so might as well try it out. Okay, got it up and running. Let's see how it goes.
go ahead and land it. Didn't like that landing, but I think we're good. Oh, caught. Probably a good thing I stopped. After Cypress Tree Tunnel, it's time to make my way down to the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, so it's a really rainy day out, um, and uh, I have just been spending time here, laying in bed, working on stuff I need to work on. Uh, kind of having one of those admin days where work on images, reach out to companies, uh, plan on shipments down the road, a bunch of different things to, that I'm really still trying to learn on while I'm doing van life. Also planning a trip, uh, hopefully February, maybe March. I was thinking for my birthday in February, but we'll see when it is. But just trying to think of different places, like thinking Rio, uh, Peru, Patagonia, New Zealand, kind of just looking around. So it's been a nice little day in the van. We're just chilling here. But I will show you where we're parked. Um, chose a pretty cool spot to park for the day. Weather's absolute crap, but it's okay. If you don't mind getting wet. So, cool thing about van life is your front yard is always changing. So uh, this is mine today. There's San Francisco. Definitely uh, really enjoying always a change of scenery. Um, hoping for a change of weather soon, but we're, like I said earlier, we're in a really big storm, so I don't know. Got a few things I gotta go pick up from Target. I think I'm gonna stay here for a few more hours. Uh, and I don't see any signs that say no overnight parking here, so I might actually come and spend the night here. Try to wake up with maybe less rain to uh, be like that. We'll see. I took advantage of the situation of the rainy day and sat down, relaxed, and got some work done on my computer. The following day was a bit nicer, so I figured it was time to head up to Mount Tam and try to catch some views while we had a bit of sun. Well, we just drove up this mountain basically uh, to find out that it's closed. That was an expensive trip up here. It was completely uphill, so my van wasn't the biggest fan of gas on that one. So we'll see. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Can you see me? Oh, shoot. Um, what if I... No. All right. Is that okay? We'll see. So, I decided to pay for parking here. And we're gonna hike up. Um, as you saw, got some stuff I'm carrying with me. So, I'm working with uh, Jackery. It's a so a portable 
uh, solar panel set up with a generator right here and uh, I'm gonna try to get some shots up here since this is like the first day with actual sun in a while so yeah the gate was closed uh, they don't want any vehicles going up in case of fires so figured let's just haul everything up I really hope I'm not forgetting something. I don't know if you can see it, but that field patch up there, I believe that's where we're going. So, yeah. Um, there's a trail, but it kind of goes all over the place and goes around where I want to go and then goes back to where I want to go. So, there's no cars on the road, it's, the road's closed carrying a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna hike the road. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm oh, getting a bit tired now. But I can see the top right there. So I'm gonna continue following the road. Like, So, got to the top, um, just taking in the views. I've been taking some product shots for Jackery, uh, and actually my camera started to die, but luckily I'm able to charge it. So, taking a break so this guy can get its charge, and with charging my camera battery and my phone, it is having an output about 21 watts. It's getting in 29 right now as cloud just came in earlier was at 36 watts. So even charging this stuff, I'm still making more power with these guys right here. And so this isn't even going down. This is still going up charging this stuff. So not too bad. No way to get to McWay Falls. Yeah, you can get to McWay Falls, but yeah. McWay Falls isn't open. It's not open. No, nothing's open. Okay. Yeah, I'm like... That's the highway down the road there with little ways. Oh, geez, okay. Yeah. Only people who live right here yeah. are able to really go through. This is frustrating. So there was a landslide on the road that wasn't reported on Google Maps and it 
completely shut down the whole road and they don't know when it's going to be opened back up especially because of the storm coming in so just drove two hours <laughs> for nothing ah uh, that was an expensive mistake all right well i guess i'll drive back maybe take photos at the famous bridge or something yeah so oh well it's gonna happen it's a bummer okay so thought update uh, because weather's crap out here and that highway's shut down I was contemplating jumping over to the next mountain range to do Pinnacles National Park while I was out here. But the weather's crap. I'm not really gonna get anything photography-wise that I'd really use. Uh, yeah, it's starting to rain now. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm gonna hit up this region another time uh, when it's better, better weather and uh, I'll also hit pinnacles when I come back as well since they're next to each other. But yeah, so now I'm just heading to Yosemite. Thanks so much for watching. One thing this episode really taught me was that I don't have control over many things and while doing van life, you just have to roll with the punches. I hope you've enjoyed being part of my journey and as always, a like, comment, and subscribe really helps me out. Until next week.